What happened to the planet during the initial minutes of the dinosaur extinction? Everyone knows that a massive space rock smashed onto the globe millions of years ago, eradicating the dinosaurs. Researchers have used modern technologies to create a new timeline that shows what actually occurred. Not only that, but they believe they know where the massive asteroid came from. Is Earth a target for another massive space rock? And if so, will we be able to survive? What NASA scientists recently uncovered will surprise and probably shock you. Let's find out more about it on Sotile. Nobel Prize winning physicist Luis Walter Alvarez and his geologist son Paul Walter proposed a theory in 1980 that a massive asteroid crashing with Earth generated a historic layer of iridium-rich clay. The immediate devastation in the near neighborhood, as well as the global subsequent consequences of an asteroid hit, were thought to be the reasons for a dinosaur's extinction. What triggered huge extinctions on a global scale? Approximately 75% of all species on Earth, including dinosaurs, died off at the same period. So how did a rock crashing into Central America's coast trigger it all? The asteroid hit at a great velocity and effectively vaporized. It created a massive crater, causing catastrophic devastation in the surrounding area. A massive blast wave and heat wave erupted, blasting massive amounts of material into the skies. It dispersed soot all across the Earth, and it did not entirely obscure the sun, but it did reduce the amount of light reaching the Earth's surface. As a result, it had an effect on plant growth. The list of casualties is lengthy. Ammonites, certain microscopic plankton, and big marine reptiles were among those that perished. Nonetheless, the loss created space for the beginnings of the modern world. Could the dinosaurs have made it? According to studies, if the impact had occurred somewhere else on the globe, the fate of life on Earth could have been drastically different. If the asteroid had fallen just a few minutes later, it would have crashed in deeper water, causing less rock to vaporize and rise, blocking off the sun's light and warmth. This would have reduced the likelihood of cataclysmic extinction. Nevertheless, if the dinosaur's reign hadn't been cut short by an asteroid, we would have still seen them now. Climate change on a global scale the asteroid cannot be held entirely responsible. Earth was undergoing climate change at the time of the crash landing. This was making life on our planet more difficult. There was significant volcanic activity in what is now central India, which was unconnected to the asteroid impact, producing issues of its own. The lava outcrop that resulted is today known as the Deccan Traps. For two million years, there was a massive amount of volcanic activity going on, blasting gases into the atmosphere and having a significant impact on the world temperature. Longer term impacts emerged as well. The continents were migrating around and splitting apart, creating larger oceans that affected ocean and atmospheric patterns all throughout the Earth. This had a significant impact on the climate and vegetation. The final non-bird dinosaurs lived during a period of environmental change, some of which had begun millions of years before they became extinct. The asteroid delivered the final killer blow. Plants were less damaged than animals during the Cretaceous extinction event. With the extinction of the dinosaurs, flowering plants ruled the planet, continuing a pattern that began in Cretaceous and continues to this day. Yet, all land animals weighing more than 25 kilograms perished extinct. That was the video, guys. Like, comment, and share the video to show your love and support. Subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.